the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Obviously, we live in this this time now. You know, this is like the the high point of outrage culture. Yeah. Where people get. Yeah offended and and there's petitions and there's more, yeah. I mean, it's, it's more than ever for yeah. sure and one of the things that to me best summarized the absurdity of the current times was when there was outrage over your horse jokes uh, remember on the what? so he jim did i didn't know there piece. was outrage oh my yeah. god it was so great he did a piece for i think it was a cbs cbs sunday yeah. cbs sunday where he was like he was you know was he's the doing kentucky derby yeah. jim gaffigan <laughs> jokes about the horses and the hats and just like it was really like a f- well-constructed well-executed jokes about this and the equestrian community was no like, yeah. And I was like, oh, I remember yeah. reading it and I was like, is this, re-? like at first I was like, this is a sketch, like this is a parody. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I started to read more. I was like, this is serious? Yeah, no, there were people And they were like, that, how dare you, CBS? Like, <laughs> there, were, there were people that uh, would sick people on me. You know, like there was, and for there, your some of it is their, their owner. They, t- in their defense, they felt threatened by uh, me attack. By the way, you want to know another one? I did one about uh, <coughs> a beer, yeah. about um, uh, you know uh, boutique beer things. Yeah, where I just said they all taste bad. Yeah, <laughs> furious, furious, <laughs> furious. <laughs> like Pace Magazine, just a whole essay on how like I'm Satan. Really, like a real God. like Pace. You think oh they're normal? Yeah, yeah. No, no. fucking idiots. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean like th- that to me it's in so a depressing. in a way is really comforting. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you see the outrage over like jokes about horses and hats, <laughs> you're like, all right, like we should kind of just lean into it's this. It's just, it, it's, it's fascinating. Cause yeah. I'm, not, and by the way, we all have friends that are flamethrowers, right? Yeah. But you had it with like Louisiana, right? Sure. And more, you know, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> but, but yes. Yeah. And, the, and a few and, topics. Yeah. Perhaps, and, there, and, there, and there's, there'll be a few more coming, but now, <laughs> I learned from that. Yeah. That was actually a, a, a great learning experience. About. What did you learn? I learned that the outrage, it's like, it's like a, like fireworks going off and yeah. you, like, everyone goes like, holy shit. And you look at it and then like, you know, all of a sudden when you're watching a fireworks show, you're like, are they, is it over? And yeah. you're like, yeah, it's over. It's like that. Yeah. It's like so a you, wave yeah. of bullshit. You gotta, you have to, the, the thing I learned is like you don't engage the outrage. Yeah. Right. You and you also, do, it's, it's, it's like there's certain calluses yeah. that develop where you're like, all right, that's just a couple idiots. Yes. That's just a couple idiots that uh, that's not a reflection of everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I did a whole episode of a show uh, uh, that was about a tweet I did. My wife had gotten her nails done. And she was like, see? And I was like, I don't care about your nails. And I did a tweet about how, like, you know, I don't care. Men don't care about women's nails. And the wow. nail community came at me. <laughs> this is and, so great. And it was, but it was like, I think it was like, at that time, Tumblr, 800,000 retweets. Oh, my gosh. 800,000. You don't like, care about nails? Just yeah. Like, but it was just, and I think, like, someone... <laughs> Like some professional football player even was like, I think nails are beautiful, Jim. Like, and I was like, it was, I, I, I think it was a tight end for the 49ers or, or a receiver for the 49ers. Oh but I was like, God. this is just absurd. Yeah. Oh. Just the outrage. The stuff, outrage right? over a nails. I know. Well, and your act is not, like you said, you're not a flamethrower. No. And for people to find problems with Jim Gaff. But like, there's what? always people that are angry. And then there are people that are angry because I'm not a flamethrower. They're like, yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't <laughs> curse. Yeah. I don't like him because he doesn't curse. You're like, really? Does it, That's... does it bother you that much? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just, it's fucking, he's, he's, <gasps> he's, he's interfering with my, he's censoring me by not cursing. Himself. He should curse more <laughs> so that I'm entertained. Well, when we first sat down before we started rolling, Tom made a cum joke. And I was like, oh, you made a cum joke in front of Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, but it's not like I'm a priest. Yeah, he's... And he said, he goes, I'm not Joel Osteen. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> but it is weird because I remember, like, I think it was um, Doug. I mean, it's weird. I've known people for like 30 years. And then, uh, like, I'm trying to think. Doug Benson. I was, tar- I was talking to Doug Benson. He goes, 
Well, and he was talking about Anthony Jeselnik's show back when he had that show. And he was like, well, you would never go on there. And I go, why wouldn't I go on there? They're like, well, it's dirty. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm not like PBS kids. Do you know what I mean? It's like, this is, it's weird because I think we just attach these points of view to people, right? Yeah. Well, I, here's my problem because I am such a toilet mouth and a toilet mind. And I've been told my whole career, you know, uh, well, you know, up until I got more successful, like you really shouldn't curse, Christina. You know, you really need to be much more accessible. And, I, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't know. I can try to be that person. I'm not that person. I'm a toilet mouth. By the way, I would, I think that the, you know, and again, I think comedians just do what they do and then they get credit or criticism for it. Like people are like, David Cross is so brave. I'm like, I know David Cross. That's his opinion. <laughs> yeah, that's right. how he's he is. just saying what he's what believes. He thinks. Yeah. And, uh, but like, I think that, you know, it's, I think actually the fact that I'm not clean has probably hurt my career. I think it's like people like there's never no reporter wants to write an article on a clean comedian. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, he's you're not going to believe what he didn't say. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like there's nothing sexy about it. Right. Right. But you're not a big cursor in real life. Are I you not a person? But then the, the, the flip side, like the the advantage, I guess you would say that you get from having your act is that. Like you can, you know, a, a group might buy eight tickets to of the show because everybody You're can come. Hugely successful. Right? Well, you know, it wasn't. I mean, I, I removed the cursing uh, because Jesus told me. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. uh, I, but I also removed it because I was doing, I was doing this thing called Pale Force where I would be on Conan once a month back when he had the Late Show, and I was writing material. And I realized that I had to remove these curse words to go on TV. Mm. And I realized, at least for me, it's like, oh, that was just, I just was, I wasn't done writing the joke. Right. Oh. So I removed it. So yeah. then I put it in there. But I always think it's strange when people talk about, uh, the, you know, like, but it's not as if, and there is, a, and believe me, as somebody who has kids, and believes in Jesus. Mm -hmm. No, as someone who has kids, it is nice <laughs> to like uh, that my kids could watch my stuff. And yeah, they don't, they don't have to be like, Dad, why'd you say that? Uh, but not our <laughs> something to look forward to. Uh, yeah, no, but no, but there is something. But it's not as if like we live in this age where there's so much cursing mm -hmm. occurring right. that people are like. I'd like to go to a theater <laughs> and not hear someone curse. <laughs> right, right. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's a false idea yeah. that, I mean, there, I'm sure there are some people that are like, I, you know, but in the end, it's just funny. Yes. It doesn't matter You're if it's so filthy. You're so funny. Or, okay. Well, that's what's so special about you. Cause my lane of comedian is the filthy, I t you know, I want to hear horrible stuff. And for, yeah. for, I was, I was am so into you and I love your humor time, and I love you. your sexuality. No, uh, I love how <sighs> you're so funny without like I, I used to love when you did, when you did the can can cunt. We still say can cunt. Oh, that's so funny. Is that your, that's your dad, house. right? That's yeah. your dad. <clears throat> that's right. <laughs> uh, Christine. <laughs> yeah, Christine. Uh, P is that short for Polak? What is that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Saragusa, Sa Sa Saragusa. <laughs> I loved you when you played for the uh, Ravens. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Can't con. Can con. But I grew up doing. That was like doing an impression of my dad. Was how I. Uh, that was how I won over my siblings. Uh -huh. Like what was like when you started doing, like being yeah. funny as a kid. Yeah. What did you do? Did you do imitations of your parents? parents definitely. Yeah, yeah, and teachers and stuff. And I like think that. I think now yeah. too. I think some of the biggest reactions I get right now on stage are is like making fun of my parents. Yeah. Because right. So yeah. universal. Yeah. yeah. Hi jeans. Did you like that highlight? Well, you can watch an entire episode here or more highlights here, but definitely, definitely subscribe here. That way you can, you know, get the latest videos as they drop for real four strokes.